All right, time to finish off the show. Rap reactions. Our topic is a little bit of time. Take it away, drink. Let's roll, baby. Still as GM, Kevin Colbert would step down after this year's draft after 12 years in his current role, although it's possible he could remain with the organization in another role. Jay, what are your thoughts on this news? Hey, uh, whoever gets hired, um, I hope it's kind of understood that um, Mike Tomlin is that dude. So don't come in here and think we're going to mess up the vibe that what the Steelers do. This, this man ain't had a losing season in, what, 15, 16 years, no matter how things are looking. So I just think that does have to be understood, whoever takes that job. Sacramento Kings have pulled out of the Ben Simmons sweepstakes due to the high asking price of the Philadelphia 76ers. Is that a bigger deal for the Kings or the 76ers? Definitely for the 76ers. Look, here's the deal. The Kings going to suck anyway, so nobody really cares. <laughs> but the, I mean, the 76ers, like, they got to – how many teams got to turn you down before you realize you tripping out here in these streets? Yep. You are BSing out here in these streets. So, yeah, it's definitely 76ers on that one. Boston Red Sox slugger David Ortiz was the only player elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame, but the biggest story may have been Roger Clemens and Barry Bonds failing to reach the 75% threshold in their final year of eligibility. Jay, what are your thoughts on this news? Uh, yeah, I think it is, it is somewhat unfortunate for Ortiz in the year that he gets selected that probably arguably the bigger story is who did not get in. Uh, I am I am not going to miss the annual occurrence of like uh, Roger Clemens and Barry Bonds not making it. I'm glad that their eligibility has has expired, so maybe this will no longer be an annual story we have to deal with. Earlier today, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones told 105.3 The Fan in Dallas that he and Mike McCarthy were able to keep Dan Quinn from accepting a head coaching position and stay in his current role of defensive coordinator with the Cowboys. Drake, do you believe this? No, I just believe teams didn't hire Dan Quinn. Like, <laughs> I do I do believe that Jerry Jones and Mike McCarthy, like, like talked to him and was like, hey, man, you want to stay? I, I believe that because you would like to keep the continuity yeah. of your staff. But, no, Derek, I, I just think Dan Quinn just wasn't good enough at the end of the day. Go to State Wars for Draymond Green has joined Turner Sports and will work with the NBA on TNT crew when, he, when his schedule permits. Quite an impressive feat while you're still an active player, huh, Jay? What do you make of this? Uh, yes, very impressive. I'm, I'm impressed for him. Um, <clears throat> I do have to say what my, my thoughts on this are, is this Draymond's um, audition for the possible Charles Barkley departure? Remember we did a Charles Barkley segment said he could leave when his contract's up. Uh, is this the audition for Draymond Green? I, mm. I, and I do think, like, Draymond Green – I think he makes sense. I think I don't think I don't know if he's got quite the personality of Charles Barkley, but I think he's that type of persona that could come in there and have great success. That, that's what I'm thinking on that. The Ravens have hired Mike McDonald as their defensive coordinator. McDonald coached with the Ravens for seven seasons before running the Michigan defense last year. I guess he really loves the hardballs, right, Drink? Yeah, man. Or oh, he he must have hid them bodies for the Harbaugh's. So the Harbaugh's really love him something because they keeping him employed. So I don't know. It's a little iffy there. But listen, I'm, I'm just messing around. Look, Mike McDonald, uh, very good. Listen, he did his job when he was with the Ravens. He went over to Michigan. Michigan had the best defense they done had in the Jim Harbaugh era. Um, so hey, clearly, God know what he's doing. Um, and, and you know, best of luck to him. But I, I think what this signifies is probably the end of the Jim Harbaugh era with Michigan. If he's deciding to move on, probably because Jim Harbaugh is deciding to move on too. So, yeah, rest in peace with that. Major League Baseball would not require minor league players to be vaccinated against COVID-19. You approve of this news? You approve of this news, don't you? Oh, you know, I do. I think um, everyone should have that choice. I don't think it should be the thing where, uh, hey, uh, take this medicine or you can't have a job. Yeah, uh, I'm not with that. You know, the thing I, I'd like for us to progress to the part where now the, the support staff and, you know, all those other folks, I wish I'd like to, to see them to have the same rights. That's that's what I think. Uh, Los Angeles Lakers forward Carmelo Anthony took exception to some fans' excessive heckling during last night's road loss to the Philadelphia 76ers, who still have Ben Simmons. Uh, what's your take on this? <laughs> well, why is Ben Simmons still there? Um, look, so 
Here, here's the thing, right? I think fans are allowed to express themselves, but it's a line. But then I also think, you know, these NBA players, I got it that these fans are right on top of the court, but some stuff got to be able to roll off your back because, listen, these NBA players be saying some of the wildest stuff to referees and then don't expect to get thrown out the game. But then, like, you don't focus on the fan that much. I, I'm, I'm with you. If a fan touch you, get them up out of here. Fan approach you on the court, get them out here. But depending on what the fan is saying, they should be allowed to say some things. I mean, they only sit in the court side. Those seats are pretty expensive. So, I mean, they should be allowed to say something. After four-plus years in Louisville, Chris Mack is out as the Cardinals men's basketball coach. Did this surprise you? Yeah, I didn't see this coming. Uh, in <clears throat> Mack's career at Louisville got off to a pretty good start, NCAA tournaments and all that, but it seems to have really taken a downturn since uh, the pandemic started. Um, they're 11-9 and nine this year. Um, so, yeah, somewhat a little bit surprising, but, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. The combined 20-76 and 76 records of the Detroit Pistons and Orlando Magic collide tonight in Orlando. Who loses, Drink? Well, the, the honest answer is the fans. But, look, they need to put both teams in the health and safety protocol because we don't care to see either one on play against each other. But, hey, somebody got a win, so I think I get a win to the Detroit Pistons. All right, that concludes tonight's Drink of Wisdom. As always, like, listen, share, and subscribe, and thank you for joining us. I'm Jay Wise in a car. <laughs> and I'm Nathan Drinker. And remember, make tomorrow better than today and make today better than yesterday. And you know what we going to do. We going to holler at you until next time, baby. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a drink of wisdom. And Jay is in his car. Mm-hmm.